Welcome to The Art of Dress. Today I'm very happy to share with you how line styles use space differently than anyone else, and that is side-to-side -side differentiation. So thank you for coming and subscribing. Line styles use side-to-side -side differentiation of space in a way that is really becoming to them, but not so comfortable and not so becoming to others. So when I show you this, I think you'll understand why if you are a line style, this kind of styling has been so successful for you. So first, let me define some of my terms because Candace Wanapool, as you see here, is a gorgeous example of a line style. But what does that mean? Remember, a little while ago, we went through an exercise where we explained that all the styles have a different weight of fabric that works for them. It's a range, but still it's different from one style to the next. A different um, scale of design detail and a different level of simplicity in their garments. I'm not talking about jewelry here, I'm talking about garments. So if you decided to put these styles, all the styles in order, you would start with the lowest weight perhaps, and that would be the elaborate romantic. And that's what we have as number one. And so then the four styles that have the lowest weights of fabrics, the smallest scale in terms of clothing design motifs, and the smallest amount of simplicity would be one, two, three, and four, elaborate romantic, refined classic, true gammon, and true romantic. And I have called those ornament styles because they can wear the most amount of ornament, accessories, etc., but mostly design detail in their clothing. Now, line styles are the next group on the right going around counterclockwise. So these would be the styles that are um, medium in terms of weight, medium in terms of scale, and medium in terms of amount of detail. The four styles are Refined Natural, that's number, number five on the wheel, True Natural six, Refined Gammon, and True Dramatic. Another thing that these styles have in common is that all four of them are alpha styles, that is, fitted to the body. And no other group has that kind of uniformity. And the third group of styles is the fabric styles, which we started with um, elaborate classic at the top there, that's number nine. 10 is true classic in the center. Back to the outside, 11 elaborate, elaborate gammon, refined dramatic, and elaborate natural, number 13. And those are the, four, the five styles that wear the heaviest weights of fabric. They wear the, um, the, small, the largest scale in terms of uh, features, um, design features, and they wear the smallest or the largest amount of simplicity, which is the smallest amount of detail in their garments. So every one of these different groups, there's three, each one uses space differently and the last video that I made showed how fabric styles really use forward and back and today I'm going to show you how line styles use side-to-side -side differentiation to great advantage. Now how do you know what kind of differentiation because you could do it above your waist or below your waist and this varies according to artistry. So the artistry, we looked at the three qualities of artistry, two or 3D, filled in or empty, firm or soft. So filled in means like solid, and empty means also like, um, mm, like, like a hoop that has nothing on the inside. So it, you could also say that that's um, like open. You could call that open. So. Filled in styles, or filled in artistries I should say, because any style can be any artistry, 
A field in artistry would be composite or architectural. And when we were looking at the qualities of form, we also showed how when you, are, when you are filled in forms, like a disc instead of a hoop, you also have a tendency to shorten. It's like a containing force, a shortening force. So you might wear a, um, a shorter purse strap, or you might wear a shorter jacket. And another thing that you do wear is that you wear side-to-side -side differentiation, if you are a lifestyle, above the shorter part of your body. In other words, the top of your body from your shoulders to your waist is much shorter than from your waist to your feet. And so the shortening aspect of filled in comes in here. And that is why architectural and composites wear their side to side emphasis above the waist. And the, this, the artistries that use empty forms, which have this lengthening aspect, like a longer purse strap or like a longer sweater or jacket, um, a tendency towards this, not, not a necessity, but they also wear their side to side below the waist. So let me show you examples. Starting here with Arlena Sosa. Arlena Sosa is a true natural. She, that's a line style. She is also composite. That's a filled in form. So she wears a one shoulder extremely well. So the aspect of this that has to do with her artistry is that her one shoulder is above her waist. Now she does a lot of other things in this dress that are for her style. As an example, notice how the the line of her one shoulder is quite curved, and that is because she wears the curved neckline as a true natural. She also has a dress that is quite fitted because the true natural is one of the two most alpha styles. She's also wearing a dress that has a lot of texture. She's a true natural. She's wearing different bands of color. She wears separates. The bands of color are almost like color block because she is true natural. And the focal point of her style is just below her waist. And you can see that the red band, the dominant red band, is starting just below her waist. So all kinds of things that are wonderful for her style in this dress that uses space on the above her waist in a side to side differentiation. Now let me show you an example with Candice. So Candice Swanepoel is also at line style. She is a true dramatic and she wears she wear, uses closed forms because she is also composite and so she wears really well she wears the one shoulder above her waist she's also using a um, a sleeve a one sleeve which is a more dramatic aspect of one shoulder because it is more emphatic and so she's wearing this also very beautifully now, the interesting thing about both of these styles is that both of them have their style focal point below the waist and they have their side to side differentiation above their waist. So it's really good for you to see how they are balancing these two things and actually what they're doing is paying attention to both. So here you see the, the really nice side to side differentiation of the one shoulder and the one sleeve. The fabric, of course, is composite soft. The fabric is also shiny. That has to do with her um, style. It is also showing an important design detail right below her waist. And that is ending at her wrist. And that is that that pleating that's happening across the, 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 um, the skirt. And it's actually the dominant design detail of this dress. And then finally, the whole dress is one color because as a true dramatic, she wears monochromatic color schemes. So there you have an ex another example of using a side to side differentiation above the waist and doing a lot of things to reflect her style. Here's Arlenis doing something again, very similar. One shoulder, again, this time curved because of her style and one, um, one sleeves, which makes it much more emphatic. But she is doing some other things to help blend this with her style 
of True Natural, because don't forget, True Natural is an air style. Now, one of the things she's doing is she's wearing a top that is a different color than the under blouse. And the top and the pants combined give her true separates because it's pink and blue. And her, her white is actually uh, like her prime neutral. So it doesn't really do give as strong of a of an, of an, of a separates look on her. On someone else it might, but on her, because it's her prime neutral, it's not as important for the separates. She's also doing something. She's using uh, fabric differentiation as well as side to side differentiation. Because she's wearing a um, sort of a, I guess that's a cotton uh, that's a woven, and then she's wearing, it's kind of a, it looks it's kind of soft. It looks like um, the undershirt is is kind of a cotton, a soft cotton, and then she's wearing a soft denim for her jeans. But she's combining the firmness of the fabric above with the, the softer fabrics. And another thing that she's doing is with her, her part here, this, um, I don't know what to call that, almost like a tube top, but it's really not. It's on top of her, of her shirt. And that is ending right at her, um, her shadow style focal point. So her style focal point is just below her waist and her shadow focal point is just above her waist. And then she's got this angle going with her top, which is at least kind of leading to a more of a focus up towards her waist. So lots of things that are really good here. Notice this is a style that uses shortening in accessories. I mean, an artistry. Notice the short strap on her purse, very cute. So here's, here's another one for Candace, and this one is doing, um, besides the, the using the one side above her waist, she's doing a lot of things for her style in this swimming suit. So the, um, the, the single um, strap here is really cute and looks just great. But the most important style detail to her, besides that, to her swimming suit is this um, sort of a triangular fabric pleat and that is below her waist and that is also angled down and sort of pointing to her to her wrist which is like if you extended that line of that major pleat there above the sort of an forming a triangle that hits that will hit her wrist she's also getting triangles in lots of other ways which is excellent because the shape of all dramatics is a triangle so this one shoulder piece is actually in kind of a triangle. This, um, the part to the side of her, where the, the fabric is overlaid is forming a triangle. The overlay itself is forming two triangles. And then she has a triangular piece at, at the top of her leg. So lots and lots of triangles here, which looks, as you can see, amazing. All one color, she's monochromatic and pretty soft because she is composite artistry. Another example for Arlenis, this dress. So a lot of things here um, for her style, but the main thing of the side-to-side -side differentiation is in the print. And this is showing you that white and green are used on one side and white, you can just barely see, but white and red are used on the other side. So differentiating according to print. Then the scoop neckline, the fringe, you know, those are things that have to do with being an air style. Her bracelets on both hands, that's because she is an alpha style. Lots of other things that are, make this good for her. Plus, the, um, the, the density of the print is stronger below the waist because of her style focal point being below the waist. So really good in lots of ways. This is kind of a difficult one for um, Candace because she doesn't actually wear separates, although she wears separates better than she wears coordinates. There's the three kinds of color schemes, monochromatic, separates, and coordinates. If you are a person that wears monochromatic, then you really don't wear separates. You would actually prefer to go with coordinates. Um, but here, because these two colors are so similar, they're both very light. They're, filled with light and clear, as well as light in intensity. And so, and she's doing this in a way that she's keeping the green on one side, or maybe that's, 
yellow on one side and she's keeping the white on the other side which gives it a more of a, of a monochromatic look within the two sides and then she has um, the the crossover below her waist which is really good that sort of you know final crossover also white is her prime neutral not pure white but still it ukes, that's like an, uh, an alternate for her. And by white being her prime neutral, it doesn't have as strong of an effect in forming separates as it would for someone else. Back to our Lenis. This dress is so cute. And the reason it's so cute is kind of complicated, so I want to explain it. But first of all, the side-to-side -side differentiation here is on using the, the right-hand side, you can see that it's a very thin red line. And on the left-hand side, it's a much broader red line. And the white kind of forms her panel in the middle, which is part of her style. Now, that's important to understand because just like um, the fabric styles, when you start your side-to-side -side emphasis above your waist, even if it continues below the waist, it still counts as above the waist. It's only when there is a defined waist and then it starts below that waist that it really counts for below the waist. So side to side can be um, above the waist and extend down as it does in this little dress. But the other thing that's really cute here for her is that um, she's got the, the fairly strong contrast with white and red. So it's sort of alluding to separates and then the differentiation um, and then the, the center panel. While it is better for her, usually if it is a, um, a narrow line that's part of her style inspiration. In this case, it's still very cute the way it's done. And because this stripe gets quite a lot stronger below her waist, it's much broader, this white and even the red, um, that gives you more emphasis below the waist for her style focal point. So lots of cool things in this dress for her and you can see how cute it is. And in this case, the side to side is having this much wider part on the right of the jacket and having the narrower part on the left plus the zipper on the right. And then having the angled part of the skirt below the waist is giving her something for her focal point being below her waist. Also, there's a little bracketing of her style focal point going on here. I just want to point it out to you. Notice that her style focal point is at her wrist. So just having her sleeve end there, it helps a little, but there's not much going on. But her jacket ends above her wrist and her skirt ends below her wrist by the same amount. So that's like a bracketing that's happening with her, her style focal point being here, right in the center. So that really helps. And then it's a monochromatic outfit, which is amazing for True Dramatic. Now, Arlenis is wearing this really cute top with side to side that is accentuated with her, her, her best way of, of ornamenting her fabrics, which is with trim. Her black trim is her edging that works so fantastically for her. And so this is giving her a really great uh, side to side emphasis. And then the, um, she has something else going on with her dress that helps with the side to side below the waist. But mostly the rest of this is the color blocking, which is part of True Natural. The little bit of texture that's worked into the fabric by having that all that shirring going on. And again, the wonderful trim for her. Plus fabric differentiation because her hat is so different from her uh, outfit in so many ways. It's much more casual, much softer. And um, because of that being that kind of a really soft knit, it gives her some fabric differentiation or I would call that lack of fabric harmony, which this is the only group that can do lack of fabric harmony. So that's amazing for this combination. Now we're gonna go on to the other kind of, of side to side differentiation below the waist. And again, this is back to the different forms of your artistry. And in the cases that I'm showing you, these are the, the, the artistry, the kinds of artistry that use empty or, or um, not solid forms, open forms. And that has also this lengthening aspect. So this is the harmonic and the sculptural. So start with um, Josephine Scriver. She's 
refined natural and she is sculptural. So what the top actually gives her is a symmetry and she's also getting this um, point of like this empty space here is centered on her, her style focal point, but the side to side is all going below her waist. And this is the exact opposite of the other two examples because her style focal point is above her waist and her side to side is below her waist. So marking of the focal point becomes actually pretty important when you're gonna do something so special like side to side. And in her case, the, the symmetry above her waist and this empty space do help enormously. And then what she's doing for side to side is using something that really is a signature of her style and that is the complex ruffle um, with sort of a peplum look. And she's got this lots of ruffling fabric happening below her waist, plus very short on the right side and then down to her knee on the left side. So side to side focal point, or side to side differentiation in the, um, in the skirt is very strong. Micah Cinelli is the other kind of line style that uses side to side differentiation below her waist and like Josephine, her style focal point is above her waist. So she is doing something here that I wanna talk about. First of all, the side to side with the skirt is so cute. And it's really cute for a bunch of reasons. For one thing, it's gathered all the way on the side. It's not like half and it's not like um, part of it is on the other side. No, it's a skirt using that kind of extension of line that is so wonderful for her, both for her style and her artistry. And it is all the way on the right side of her body. It's at the left of the picture. Also, she's accentuating that more by using this cut-off denim that's not only denim, but it's distressed denim with this kind of a satiny fabric. And it works amazingly for her because it sets up this kind of fabric, lack of fabric harmony that is so fantastic. Now, the top of her outfit is not marking her focal point at all because it doesn't have anything here at her on pure waistline except that it's fitted to her, but that's the case for all of these alpha styles fitted in the torso. But what she's doing that I have actually cropped because I wanted you to see the skirt by itself is she is substituting a one shoulder. So it's not the perfect answer, but it is an answer and it works in this case because of the fact that she has nothing else bringing focus to the top of her garment, which is where her style focal point is. So that's why she kind of gets away with it here, but the skirt itself is what makes this outfit and is so fantastic. Now, this dress is deceptive because what's making it so good for her? Well, first of all, she's using texture to mark a kind of a geometric, she uses geometrics for her fabric, and she's got this kind of a geometric um, emphasis point solidly above her waist made with texture and that's perfect for her style. And then she's got the side to side below her waist, side to side differentiation in two ways, um, actually three ways. The first one is she's got all those gathers on one side only. The second thing is she's using that to form um, short on one side, short where it's gathered and long on the other side. Second side to side differentiation. The third is that she has the underskirt showing only on the right hand side. So three forms of fabric, using her fabric to form side to side differentiation. But also another thing that is very cool for her is that all of those pleats are um, something that earth styles do that is like a signature for them. And so that works really, really well for her. So amazing for Josephine. Candice is, I mean, um, Micah, is here showing refined gammon. And so the, the narrowness of the strap is because she's so alpha, her style focal point is here um, with her lace kind of separating. She's also, and also a short top, and she's also showing fabric, lack of fabric harmony because she's combining lace in the top 
with kind of a, I guess that's a pleather in the bottom. And the lace in the top is all this detail, which is something that refined gamins really like to do. And also notice that this, the, the bustier part here, the bra part is curved and she really wears soft curves. So there's always these underlying details that really make it work for her that it's hard even to point out how many there are because you know, the, the people that I use for these style examples really are exceptional in understanding themselves. The side to side is shown here in the skirt as it has to be because she wears open forms and it's quite different. Short only in the front, which is great, and only on one side, only on the right hand side of the picture. So amazing. So here's another example for Josephine. And this is a really simple dress. The way that she's getting the side to side is with this gathering. And then not only does she have a difference in shortness on one side, but she also has that string hanging down only on the one side. And the way that her, this is really working pretty well for her, her showing something happening in the top of her outfit because of that being her style focal point, is that the black is much more dominant in the top. She has two places that are pretty strong with black above her waist. So that helps a lot. And plus she's wearing a print, which is variegated, which is, you know, that's sort of her style signature, one of her style signatures. And also print in and of itself is a style signature for refined natural. So here's my last example for Micah. And just want to show you this cute skirt that is side to side in a couple of ways. Uh, first of all, the print is much, is dominant on the right and not the left. Also, it is, um, it's up on the top and then shifting to the right. So small and then on the side. And so it's using it quite differently, this difference in level, high on the one side, low on the other, and you know, not even there on both sides. So it's, it's very, very cute. Also, she's using those studs along the right side of her skirt that don't happen on the left side. So in two ways, she's showing side to side differentiation with this skirt. She's doing other things for her style that make the outfit great. Yes, it has this kind of a pull up here going towards the upper part of her body, that helps. And she's also um, using a cross her body purse. So that's bringing emphasis, but mostly you see those studs on her strap and those are of course rhythm of accessory with her skirt, but they also um, bring attention to this center part here because the studs stop. And so that helps a lot to bring attention to her, her um, empire waistline focal point. Plus again, she has this uh, long strap, which is part of being a harmonic because she uses open forms. So there you have another really cute example of a way to show side to side differentiation below the waist. And for my last example, I made an exception. I try not to reuse things, but I just need to show you this skirt because I have talked about this before as side to side, but there's so many things in this deceptively simple outfit that make it really amazing for her. Let's start at the top. Um, first of all, she's wearing uh, something in leather at the top and that's very dominant in this outfit and she's accentuating that with a belt that matches. She does use rhythm of accessory and so she's getting something really important happening in the top of her silhouette plus the top ends at her style focal point which is the base of her ribs. So amazing. Now she also wears separates so ivory is not her uh, primary neutral. So by using this, I don't know if it's black or brown, but by using black and ivory like this, it totally forms separates, which is great for her. Now all the ways it shows side to side, because there's three different ways. First of all, the top skirt is completely different on the right than it is on the left. You see how it's going up really high on the left and it's going up far less on the right. Also, the pleats are different on the left compared to the right. Then the second layer is non-existent on the right. And so she has a completely separate second layer on the left, differentiating side to side. And then the, the final bottom skirt is um, much more prevalent on the left than it is on the right. Now, 
With that, there are other things happening that are fabulous for her style. Because not only is the leather a contrast in her fabrics, using lack of fabric harmony, but her overskirt is kind of a linen, looks like a linen, and then her underskirt is chiffon. So she has a three-way differentiation here. She has a three-way lack of fabric harmony, chiffon, linen, and leather. And then she also has this, um, she has the rhythm of accessory, not just the belt matching her top, but also her shoe. So just a fantastic example of Refine Natural, who is sculptural, doing side-to-side -side differentiation um, below her waist and bringing that into her Refine Natural style. So thank you very much for sharing this with me today. It is a pleasure, and you can also see why I have <clears throat> such intense respect for my style examples, because they are amazing. And I look forward to sharing with you the last one of these, which will be above and below differentiation for ornament styles. So thank you for coming, and thank you for subscribing, and please take care.